Hey guys, um, just want to share this. I found this, uh, it's probably the quickest way I have found to level and farm legendaries in Fallout 4. Uh, I discovered this on Reddit as a legendary farming route, and as it turns out, it is extremely good for leveling as well. Um, I'm level 143, and I can level up extremely fast. Uh, all my per all my specials are maxed out as you can see um, there are some essentials I would say rifleman all the way leveled up uh, bloody mess just for the extra 15% damage bonus um, action points regenerate faster uh, you do your silence weapons do more damage sneak attack damage uh, this is a very important one. Night person, you have three intelligence and perception at night. Um, some more action points there. Penetrator. Um, concentrated fire. Gun fu is pretty important. Um, and you'll see why I have those perks are needed in a minute there. Um, so basically, right now we're at the Fizz Top Grill in Nuka World. And so let's go ahead and sleep until 6 o'clock so we get the bonus to intelligence. And uh, these are my specials right here. You also get the, uh, I think it's the well, called the Well Slept Buff. But my perception is 18, intelligence is 15, um, and that's going to help us level up faster. I'm also wearing four pieces of armor that have the Sprinter's Legendary effect, and so that gives me a 40% movement speed boost, which, as you can see, it makes you run a lot faster, which makes this go even quicker. So basically, you come out this way. I'm also using the Overseer's Guardian from Vault 81, um, and that enables me to pretty much one-shot anything out here that I come across. This is also a very efficient companion uh, affinity leveling place. So basically you come here and you start here. Uh, and basically I start by killing all the friendlies. Now this will not make the raiders inside turn hostile against you. So you're okay there. Just go ahead and kill these. And as you can see there's a legendary right there we already hit. Let's go ahead and loot him. There we go. And then there will be people in here. Uh, there, it can either be scavengers, super mutants, or uh, gunners. Uh, super mutants are the best because they give you the most XP, followed by gunners. Scavengers, it sucks if you get them because they're only level 1 or 2, so you barely get any experience for killing them. Uh, and now, if you just saw what I did there... Uh, there's also plenty of loot here for crafting. You get uh, economy wonder glue there, a lamp there for copper, some more duct tape, some meds, and then two things of oil right here. And in my experience, you have about a 70 to 80 percent chance that all of this will be restocked once you finish the loop. Um, if you are leveling your companion's affection, this is also a good place. So there's this toolbox here that you can lock pick and every time the loot resets the 70 to 80 percent chance this will also relock and if you have Kate or Gage or whatever um, you can level their affection up very quickly just by lock picking that every time you loop back around um, I also am using I also have Gage's perk for five percent more XP per kill and I have the magazine that lets you earn five percent more XP when traveling with a companion uh, you basically just want to kill everybody though. 
nobody left that way it will reset and then uh, you can also grab these materials here if you want them so after this location uh, you're gonna head this way and go toward this big sign and this is where the uh, sprinters legendary gear comes in effect because it just lets you cover ground way more quickly and then just keep headed this way and you'll see this giant tower thing with a windmill on top you're just gonna go toward it and when you get here once again there will be uh, raiders attacking either scavengers super mutants or gunners and basically there's always a chance for a legendary in either the raiders or gunners or super mutants uh, you sometimes get three at a time and so I come down there's another legendary there uh, this is why I like the gun foo because it makes it where all your targets uh, f the, your fourth target and beyond automatically get a crit so just wipe all these and see I'm getting 115 XP per kill for just the normals you get a little bit more for legendaries Come down here and loot your legendary item again. Alright, nice. And then, once again, you need to come up here and just finish all these guys off. Uh, and there's a sleeping bag up top if you need to sleep on survival. Um, now, right here, now this will usually restock. This little room will restock every time you make the loop. Uh, this toolbox usually has some good stuff in it. Uh, now, there's a whiskey bottle here. And this is very efficient for leveling affection with Old Longfellow. Because he likes drinking. So basically, every time you do this loop, you just grab the whiskey. And you chug it. And you gain affection with him. And then you're going to head down this way. Uh, toward those mountain things. And then, right up here in this spot, there's we have a death claw now. So you kill the death claw. Now this death claw has a chance to be legendary as well. And if there's a death claw here, there's going to be a bunch of dead raiders, and one of these raiders will have a chance to be a legendary. Uh, it doesn't look like there's one now. Uh, in in the place of the death claw, sometimes some uh, gazelles or those two-headed cow things will spawn. You can kill them. Just make sure you kill them every time you come through, so it resets. Uh, there can also be uh, a settler with a pack ramen uh, being chased by those blood worm lar larva things you kill them uh, or there can be a bunch of ghouls here and you kill them and the ghouls have a chance to be legendary and then after we clear that part out we just head back this way along the road here uh, now I am playing on survival um, and I mean, as luck would have it, right along the loop here, uh, you come in this little room, and there's some oil, some little bit of food, some ammo boxes, and there's an actual good bed here where you can sleep for however long you want. It's not a sleeping bag. Uh, so if you're on survival, you can save your game, and then come over here. I crouch to get the sneak attack bonus. All right, there are gunners here this time. So once again, I start by taking out all the friendlies. There's another legendary. And you just kill them again. And uh, like I said, I'm, I think I'm level 143. And I, I can level up extremely fast doing this. basically started doing this to farm legendaries because um, I wanted a two-shot handmade rifle unfortunately I have not found it yet um, I have gotten a two-shot plasma rifle two-shot uh, assault rifle two-shot gauss rifle 
uh, two shot lever action rifle, two shot institute rifle, pretty much every two shot gun in the game except the one I want so I'm still doing this. And then once again you just kill all these things and then you just do the loop again and you just keep doing that and as you go back around everything's going to be all the enemies will be um, reset um, again it depends on the kind of build you're doing but I have the Overseer's Guardian full rifleman perks so I can pretty much one shot everything I have such a high perception you get easily get those headshots gun foo lets you get the automatic crits um, and yeah again this will not turn the raiders in nuka world hostile against you by killing these guys even though they're friendly so don't worry about that alright so this time we have super mutants here and then once again you just target and we have another legendary So uh, let me get a little bit more AP here. Come down here and just find where the legendary raider was. Lost track of her. Alright, there we go. And you just come back down this way again. And there's another death claw. And then see it, check to see if any of these are legendary, which they're not. It's also a good way to get 7.62 uh, ammo. And then you just come back along the road again. It's uh, probably the most efficient way I've found of leveling in Fallout 4. Obviously, the higher level you are, the more perks you can have, so... You know, and then you sleep, and uh, that is pretty much it.